The South Lake Carroll School Board decided to cut ties with the Texas Association of School Boards over its diversity and inclusion policies. Yeah, it's another escalation from a district facing several federal civil rights investigations for discrimination. Fox 4 Stephen Dial is in South Lake now with more. Stephen. Yeah, TASB, as it's called, the Texas Association of School Boards, basically districts pay a membership fee and then they can pay additional fees for other services. Now, the reason why the board says that they voted five to one to leave TASB next year is because they say that TASB has taken on some political things that the board and the district and people who elect them to the district board do not align with, they do not agree with. Now, the move comes after a group of Republican Texas lawmakers sent a letter out to districts in January telling them to leave the Texas Association of School Boards over so-called, quote, woke policies. The letter took issue with the TASB's guidelines on transgender students calling for districts uh, to protect students from discrimination and bullying and to monitor federal law when it comes to bathroom use and other issues. A few people showed up to tonight's meeting to discuss the topic, but all but one were for leaving TASB. There are zero reasons for this school district to support TASB or any other organization that does not represent what the majority of South Lake residents stand for. Any decision which is strictly political to withdraw from TASB is clearly a breach of your fiscal duties as a trustee. It will result in significant increased expenses in legal fees, insurance costs. While a majority of school boards were in a while majority of the school board were in agreement to leave TASB, there was some debate. One member, Michelle Moore, wanted the board to slow down the process, but the board president and others said the district shouldn't give money to an organization with policies that its members do not agree with. To continue sending our community's taxpayer dollars to an organization that pushes the very ideology that our community specifically and overwhelmingly rejected at the ballot box in May of 21, November of 21, and then again in May of 22 would be disingenuous at the very least to those that have entrusted us to represent them. Right now, we do not know um, how much these, re, um, these services will cost by using another vendor. And wouldn't it be better for us as a fiscally responsible board, which I know all of you, I mean, if you're going to talk about, you know, your, what you ran on, you also ran on being fiscally responsible, that we take a pause here, do the research, understand what, are, what vendors are available, what is that going to cost, and compare it to what we're currently paying TASB. Carol ISD is no stranger to being in the spotlight in recent years. The school board has rolled back diversity and inclusion policies, especially those put in place after a 2018 video showed white students using the N-word. The district is also subject to multiple ongoing federal civil rights investigations, and it caught heat in 2021 over book removal policies. Now, leaving TASB isn't official until the end of the school year, so right now what the superintendent has been charged with is to basically put out RFPs, get proposals to see how much vendors will charge for the services that the district uses from TASB and then report back to the board before the end of the school year so they can decide on what vendors to hire for the 2024 school year.